we need an Excel formula to insert four dashes. We need to go from this into this. Now I would like to select the cell and go up and try and use number formatting. But the problem is, I don't know how to apply number formatting to text. Well, if our pattern for this column is to insert a dash after the second, fourth, and sixth character, we can use Excel formulas. We can start by using the left function. There's our text, comma, and we want two characters from the left. If I Control Enter, that just gets the first two characters. F2. Now we need to join it using the join operator ampersand. In double quotes, I need a dash, ampersand. And now we need those two middle characters. So we use mid. There's the text, comma. I need to start at position 3, comma, and go two characters. Now if I Control Enter, I can see I've joined one, two, three things. F2, I'm going to cheat here. I'm going to copy that little bit. Control C at the end, Control V. And all we need to do is change the 3 to a 5. Control Enter, we're almost there. F2, I'm going to join all of that to right. There's the text, and I only want the four right characters. Close parentheses, Control Enter. Double click and send it down. And that is looking beautiful. Now in the top cell, notice we in essence started at character 1 and went two characters. Started at 3, went two characters, 5, 2. And for the last one, we started at the seventh character and went 4. Well, guess what? If we know that pattern, we don't have to use these four different functions. We can simply use mid. We still have the same text, comma. But let's give it all four starting positions in curly brackets, 1, comma, 3, comma, 5, comma, 7, and curly brackets. As soon as I put four items into start number, that tells mid to deliver four answers, comma. We have to do the same thing for number of characters. Close curly bracket, close parentheses. Now if I hit the F9 key, that is amazing. Just one mid, and we extracted all four items. Control Z. Now that formula element works in any version of Excel. But I don't really know how to join all those elements except for to do it the way we did it right there. But if you have Office 365 or Excel 2019, we can use the text join function. We need to know the delimiter our dash in double quotes, comma, ignore or include empty cells. I'm accepting the default, which is true, comma. And that's our formula, close parentheses, Control Enter, double click and send it down. All right, we can do it with left, mid, and right, or with using mid and an array of items and text join. Hey, if you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun, including our next video where we'll do the same thing with Power Query.